Hi guys, that's one fucking hot day today. Anyway, what was I going to say? Yes, respect the care homes for the uh, Cody Lachey online uh, support and prison activism department. Um, yeah, this coronavirus and the homes, it's fucking murder, isn't it? That the people, they're not even, the government now, I, I didn't think they'd do this, but I suppose, you know, they're all fucking up there in number 10, aren't they? They're all lying cunts. People that are dying outside hospitals, it doesn't seem to be recorded. So, you know, they're not recording the deaths. So how the fuck can you, how the fuck can you say that's an accurate Accurate amount of deaths. It's not. They took out their ass. That's what they do. And I voted for fucking Boris Johnson as well. I, I voted for the camp. But they're all just liars. You know? And, and it just makes me sick, to be honest with you. But having said all that, I can appreciate life is hard. And just realise, you know, how much we are controlled. I can understand people who want to go and live in the wilds. I feel like that myself sometimes. I want to live away from people, get a quad motorbike and just fuck off into the wild with my dogs. And that's the way I feel. But at the minute, I'm taking care of my mother. And I shall continue to do so until I die or she dies. But she won't be going into care at any, any time soon, I can tell you that. I just feel sorry for these people that have paid taxes all their lives and been put in a home by their loved ones to basically die like a piece of shit. Prison people don't die like that. I knew a guy killed two people. You have a look back through the through my uh, vlogs. You'll you'll see a story about that, but um, yes, there was a guy that, in prison that died, he didn't die with that disrespect, he had people around him, prison people around him, I even think he went to a hospice, but then they didn't get that, did they, they didn't get a hospice, they got fuck all, they got left, left and left to fucking die, left to starve, so that fucking annoys me, that really fucking annoys me that then people were left like that, elderly people, and that will never happen here, ever. That just won't happen. Anyway, the UK were too slow in their response to the coronavirus. They were too slow. We were at least two weeks from the 11th of March from when we got all locked off. But it, you know, people were they were letting people fly in and out of the fucking country, and I think we're going to pay for it. And that's why you got two lots of deaths: the street deaths and the hospital deaths. Why don't they put them all to fucking gather and put that on the BBC every day? The Peter file coverers. Why don't they put that on there every day? They won't do it. I doubt, you know. Sorry about it, but, you know, it's true. Every, check everything I'm saying, you know. Anyway, respect to Dan from America and, and my supporters. Respect to Mr. Lachey. Um, like, subscribe and share. And, you know... We're going to get through this. I, I know we're going to get through it. You know, be it our economy, but, you know, it's going to be a bit smaller. You know? It's not the end of the world, is it? It is for the people that died in their homes. Anyway, respect to you all. Respect.